In this video, I'm gonna show you a really important trick in Prisma 3D's Lasses version and apply it on my own render as a result. So let's jump into the video and see it. So let's say we got our base character here and we got a bunch of animations, animation presets to use it, but they are not always enough. For example, that we have the walking animation, which is pretty helpful, but it's not like we always use the walking animation. A character has many movements. So we got the create button up here, the first button. And when you click on it, and uh, when you click on keyframes, you can actually create your own custom animation. So now let's create a small animation, and after it's done, I will tell you the new trick that we were talking about. And I didn't have anything specific in my mind, but I was thinking about a respect animation, so I added a little bit of hand movements, a little bit of waist movements, and now a uh, a little bit of leg movements would be enough to make a realistic and good animation. Uh, not realistic, but at least looks good, right? So after doing that, um, like we already got what we wanted. So um, if you click on export next to the animation library, you can see the store clip button and you can name it anything because it's your animation. So I go with respect and after doing that you have your custom animation. So what does that mean actually? So if you have a character in Prisma 3D rigs, like I'm going to show you how to create those Prisma 3D rigs. And after getting your suitable character for that, you can save your commonly used animations uh, and save a lot of time. And it's really important about uh, humanoid characters. So I have this Mida character and I want to delete the bones because I can't use it. I can use those animations like this. And I will use the other rig and I will place these bones. So I will have a character rig for my Mida character. And I will click apply and wait a bit. And finally, we got our rig uh, in Mida's character. And if you click create, you will see we got our animations and our respect animation is also here. And here we go. As I said, really nice. Uh, wait. <laughs> well, I mean, um, break from the it's ads. almost good. I mean, uh, want a break from the ads? I can change it and make it better. So, I can change it as if she's shocked. Yeah. That would be a better animation so it's not a problem at all uh what i was trying to say was that uh, this trick uh, is really helpful and you can use it for every animation every of your animations and thanks developers for adding this feature and yeah i recommend to you guys to use it as well and here's a little trick for the anime guys uh, here i'm trying to make an anime shading and it requires an in dialogue lighting so uh, I'm doing this one, uh, I'm going this way and uh, I will light up a bit in the editing process and you can do the same. So here's the final thing. So thanks for watching this video, stay locally and have a good day.